Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Forex, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to access your trading history as well as your account balance on MetaTrader 5. Now, before I do proceed, I would like to mention that if you're in the market for a new Forex trading platform or you're interested in trying out MetaTrader 5, feel free to either follow the link at the beginning or the very end of the video or use the clickable link down below in the description to gain access to the MetaTrader 5 demo download page. This demo is absolutely free to use and is unlimited. So feel free to use it for as long as you would like. Now onto the video, as I did mention, I'll be showing you how to access your account's trading history as well as your account statistic page, which does give you brief information on your account balance and margins and things like that. Now the toolbar that does give you access to these features by default should be activated. Now we notice there are many instances in which the toolbox may accidentally get closed out and the user does have a quite a tough time trying to reopen the toolbar or finding out where their account balance or their account history is on this platform. So for whatever reason, your toolbar is not activated by default. You can reopen it by going up to view and then heading down a toolbox. This can also be opened by using the control T keyboard shortcut. So as you can see, the toolbar does open up down here on the bottom of the page. Again, when you first open up this platform, it should be activated by default. But in case it isn't, this is one where you locate it and two, this is how you open it. Anyway, once you do have it open, you'll notice down here there are different tabs in which you can click and filter what is shown on your toolbox here. Pertaining to this video, we are interested in trade, exposure, and history. Journal is also somewhat important as well. As you can see before I created this video, I did mess around and place a few simulated trades. So this essentially does give you a log of everything that takes place on this platform. Not just placing trades, but also any actions you make anytime you do close out a window. Anytime something happens with the network, you will get a backlog of information here. So although it's not exactly pertaining to the topic of this video, this is very useful for keeping track of just anything that goes on in this platform, let alone the trades that you do place. If you would like to access your trading history, I could suggest for you to access the history panel or the trading panel. Now, if you notice, if you do take a right click, we can sort and filter by what is shown on this page. This is also the same for exposure. Now, if you notice, if we right click on history, this will actually allow us to filter what is shown here. So currently we only have active positions. And as you can see, it just shows my balance for now. But if I did go under orders, this would show all orders I've had placed. As you can see, I did place an order for the Euro versus US dollar and I did sell it. It shows the volume it was sold at as well as the price and the time of your order as well. If your order has been filled, you will see this in the state and it will reflect what happened. So as you can see, this order was placed manually and it was filled. Again, we can check our filled orders now under the trade panel. And as you can see here, if we go back to our history, this is the same order number. So any open positions or filled positions that we do have, this will all be filled in trade, the trading tab down here on the toolbox. Again, we can essentially filter this to show the same information as we would get in the trade toolbar here but you do have quite a more options. We have deals as well in which we can filter by. And then we can break it down by time. We can create custom periods. We can also create exports um, for our reports. So for example, if you want a report that you'd like to export into Excel, this can be done so through the report button. 
We can show any trades we've made on charts actually by simply clicking on show on charts and then adding all deals. And then we can adjust how our columns are filtered as well. Now, if you are interested in how any of your previous trades are currently affecting your account, the most relevant tab for you would be the exposure. As you can see, you do get a breakdown of any orders placed and it's filtered by the contract that they are associated with. And as you can see, it does show in relevant terms the US dollars you have put into that trade, the rate at which the trades were placed at, and the volume associated with that trade. Now for each of the three tabs, you do get some brief statistics. You do see things such as your balance, your equity, and the various margin rates and levels. And this goes across for all three tabs here, the trade exposure and history. Although your history does show profit as well as credits and withdrawals on your account as well, other than the deposit and the account balance. So please keep that in mind that you can use all three tabs down low to essentially view your overall account balance related to actual trades that you do have filled in a position held on the market, you'll want to focus your efforts on trade, the trade tab. For any exposure against your account to see how your trade tab affected your overall account balance and levels, the exposure tab is best suited for you. It's also worth mentioning that you do get a pie chart to see how each individual content contract has affected your account. And you do get a breakdown here on the right hand side and you will see a filter or a key per se to see which accounts are associated with which color to see graphically how it does affect your account in a whole. And finally, your history just shows you the overall view of everything you have done in the market. Remember, you can filter based off positions, deals, orders, and a combination of orders and deals. You can also filter your lots and the amounts, as well as the time period of your trading history. And finally, you do have the journal, which again, shows you an entire log of all activity on the platform for that given day. But that just about does it for this video, guys. I think that shows a pretty clear understanding of where to access any overall account information, as well as previous trade history. So that's it for the video. If you, again, are interested in MetaTrader 5 or would like to try out the platform for absolutely free, feel free to follow the link at the very beginning or the very end of the video, or use the link down below for a clickable version that will bring you directly to the demo signup page for MetaTrader 5. Once again, thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thanks.